All right, Shalom God Shirala, back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the Spirit and a power of Allah by Shimon Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Next up, the by honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. We still go out there to the harvest and Bible to preach us the 100% truth. According to the scriptures, and rule well, and peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Akims out there who's pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity. And uh, just back with another lesson to the spirit here about Shimon Shai. The title is pretty much is going to be the Lord does what he wants, man. Y'all by Shimon Shai. We have, I'm going to start off with this scripture right here. Um, matter of fact, yeah, Y'all by Shimon Shai does what he wants, man. You know what I mean? And then I'm just going to go through various scriptures. First, I'm going to start with this scripture. Then I'm going to let the Spirit does what it does, man. So this is the book of Psalms 115 and 3. For our power is in the heavens. Right? Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They're on their thrones right now. Yahweh's, um, Yahweh Shai is on the left, right-hand side of Yahweh. You know what I mean? And Yahweh's in the middle, man. You know? See, our power is in the heavens, man. And he do, and he have done whatsoever he have pleased, right? Y'all by Shemuel Shai does whatever he wants to, man. Y'all by Shemuel Shai, when he created the heavens and the earth, when he made the Israelites better than these other nations, man, it pleased him, man. You know? It, it pleased Y'all by Shemuel Shai to, um, to choose the Israelites to be his chosen people, which this lesson is about, about that. But this lesson is does say that Y'all by Shemuel Shai does what he wants. So, I guess we can start off with the Israelites. We're just going to go through various scriptures of what Yahweh Bashima Shah did, man. And that's why I started off with that scripture right there. So, I'm going to just um, just go to a couple of scriptures through the Spirit of what Yahweh Bashima Shah did, his decisions. And, you know what I mean? Just let the Spirit flow. This is the book of Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These are the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on this side. Of the Jordan in the wilderness, um, side, oh, it's like a side, um, side plain, uh, uh, let me see, side plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tabal and Laban and Heziroth and, uh, Dazaba, Dazahab. So that so that was uh Yahabai Shema Yahabai Shai spoke through Moses unto the children of Israel, and this is what he said unto the children of Israel. This is the book of Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right, and that word holy in the Hebrew it means kodash, which means separate, man. Yahabai Shema Shai uh, uh, Yahweh Shimon Shai spoke this through Moses and said, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh Shimon Shai, man. Um, and Yahweh Shimon Shai, thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right. Yahweh Shimon Shai chose the Negroes, like the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites and the confusion of faces who lines go back to the Israelites, man. To be a chosen and special people unto himself, man. And chosen pretty much means to be selected the best, man. The best quality, man. You know? Yahweh Shema Shah just created nations in the earth and just decided to choose Israel, man. He do whatever so he pleased, right? That's why I started off with that scripture. Uh, a special people unto himself. You know? Uh... And when you go into the uh, precept for that word, uh, a special people to himself, mean a people for his own possession, man. Yahweh Shemuel Shah is only dealing with the Hebrew Israelites, man, which consists of so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We are special. We are gifted, man. We are talented, man. You know? Yahweh Shemuel Shah has blessed us with that, man. That's why it's called God given talents. Um, unto himself, above all people. Who are upon the face of the earth. 
which means when it says above all people, it's talking about the other nations, man. Above all the other nations that are upon the face of the earth, Yahweh Shema Shah has chosen one nation out of all 17 nations out of the earth, man. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah chose the Israelites, man. You know, and upon everybody, every nation that's on the earth, the Israelites, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are above every single last one of them, man. And Yahweh Shema Shah decided that for himself because it pleased him to do that. As a matter of fact, let's go to Samuel. We're going to prove that. This is the book of 2 Samuel, 1 Samuel 12 and 22. For Yahweh would not forsake his people for his great namesake. Because it pleased Yahweh to make you his people. Right? Yahweh Shema Shah is not going to forsake the Israelites, man. We're not going to be done away with. We're not going to be exterminated. You know what I mean? Yahweh Shema Shah. Because it, it, it says in uh, Malachi 3 and 6 that uh, your sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. So Yahweh Shema Shah is not going to forsake his people, man. He's going to come back and save his people, man. Starting off with the elect. Because the two-thirds got to die. But he's not going to forsake his people, man. He's going to have mercy upon his people through his son, Yahweh Shai. And it pleased Yahweh, and it pleased Yahweh Shema Shai to make us his people, man. You know what I mean? It, it pleased him, man. He's like, all right, out of all these group of people, I choose this group of people because I like these. You know what I mean? Because I, li I like it. You know what I mean? Because I said so. You know what I mean? So it's like Yahweh Shema Shai does whatever he pleases, man. You know, and that's just starting off with the Israelites. So you have by Shema Shah done whatsoever he do, man. So let's go to Romans. Let's go to the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans. 9, verse, verse 16, 15. For he saith on the Moses. What's it going on? No, 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 let's start at 14. Matter of fact, let's start at 13. And as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Verse 14. So what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness but the Most High? Yahweh by Shema shall forbid. Verse 15, the point. For he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right, that's pretty much love, man. Y'all by Shema Shah will have mercy on whom we have mercy on, man. You know? Y'all by Shema Shah is having mercy on our, our people now, man. And, but they're just rebelling against you. How about Shema Shah, man? You know? Being a homosexual and all this stuff. He's giving you time to repent. You know what I mean? But you don't want to repent. That's why your destruction is going to be grievous, man. You're going to have a, a very cruel destruction, man. Because your high by Shimon Shai sent the men of the Lord out there on the highways and edges to, 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 how should I say, to bid you to the marriage. And you rejected it, man. So your high by Shimon Shai is going to kill you. You know what I mean? No excuses, man. And he have compassion on whom we have compassion on, man. So he had compassion on when he chose the Israelites, the Israelites, man. So he gonna have compassion on the Israelites, man. He do whatever so he pleases, man. That's a bus pass, man. You know, uh, you have compassion on whom you have compassion on, man. And that's quoting Exodus 33 and 19. So now, let's go to Proverbs 16 and 4. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Because a lot of people like to say, that okay, well, if it pleased the Lord to make the Israelites, then why would he make the other nations then? Why why would he do that? Okay, let's see what Yahweh Shema Shah decided to do with the other nations, man. It's specifically you so-called white people, which is the biblical Edomites. It's the book of Proverbs 16 and 4. For Yahweh made all things for himself. Yea. Even the wicked for the day of evil, man. And we already know who the wicked is according to the Bible, man. It's the biblical it's the biblical Edomites, man, which are known as the Caucasian race today, man. You know what I mean? So Yahweh Shema Shai pretty much had a purpose for these other nations, man. To get put to death for the day of evil, man. That's why Yahweh Shema Shai made these other nations, man, to be beneath us, man. But when we fell off, we lost our power. But now, through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, in these scriptures, man, you know what I mean? And prophecies coming to pass, and the kingdom's being closer, and our salvation is coming. Yahweh Shema Shai just created all these other nations just to be destroyed, man. 
You know what I mean? Specifically, you so-called Edom, you so-called white people, man. You be biblical Edomites, man. And this is coming out the Bible. This is not all words. Yeah, how about Shema Shah said this, man? You know? So let's see if we can grab one more precept before we close it out here. Um, let's see. Um, this is the book of uh, Sirach 18 and 1. He that liveth forever created all things in general. Right. Yahabai Shema Shai created all things in general, man. Which means that uh, anything that you see or anything that 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 that's purpose, man. Yahabai Shema Shai created it, man. Just like those, those serial killers that go around killing everybody. It was a purpose for that, man. Yahabai Shema Shai created that and he put the spirit on that person to do that, man. You know? Anything that you see in general, yeah, I see my child created it, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I was watching, uh, uh, what's that dude name? Uh, Dr. Sebi, whatever the heck this dude name is, man. And he was basically going in on the guy, who he called, he called him God. But God didn't make horses. He didn't make, he didn't make cows. Or he didn't make something, man. Listen, man. Yeah, I see my child created everything that you see, man. Yeah, I see my child does what he wants, man. He puts the spirit on certain things to do what they do, man. Because he cre he's the creator. He created it, man. And we're nothing but creations of the creator, man. So, we, so like, I think I forgot that scripture where it says, um, ah, it's basically like, can a, can a, can a, pretty much can a, uh, can a clay jump up to the potter and say, why'd you form me like this or something like that, roughly paraphrasing. You know what I mean? You can't say that. Because the creator, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, made you like that, man. He put the spirit on people to do what they do, man. You know? Because it, it pleased them to do it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> in general. Yahweh Shimon Shah is the one to live up forever and created everything in, for a general purpose, man. You know what I mean? In general. In general. Anything that you can see, Yahweh Shimon Shah created it, man. Because he does whatsoever he have pleased, man. You know? It pleased him to do it, to create it, so he created it, man. You know? Ain't a dang thing nobody can say about it. Or do about it. Well, they can say something about it, but they can't do nothing about it, you know? So, if that, Lord willing, this video was edified for your occupants out there that's watching through the spirit of your heart by Shema Shai. Before I begin in this, before I end this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Next up, double honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out there to the house and bowers and preach us the 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well in peace. Blessings and safety and mercy unto the Akims out there in the four corners of the earth who's pushing the truth according to the Bible uh, and with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to be safe, to be strong, and to be and to be in haste in the day of Abba Shimon Shai. With that, Shalom, Kwame Asha Allah, Abba Baba, stay strong, Akim. We're almost out of here.